Welcome to the place value video. Today we're going to learn about what place value really means. Place value is a number system where the value of a digit changes depending on its position or place. That's the definition, place value. But what does that mean exactly? What does it mean when we say that a digit changes value just because of its position or place? Well, let's look at this number over here. Now, if you don't really know much about place value, you might see those three ones in a row and think, oh, I have three ones? That, of course, has to be equal to three. Well, that would be wrong because in our place value system, each of those ones is equal to something else. They each have a different value. The one, the first one, all the way on the left, is actually not equal to one. It's equal to 100. The one in the middle is actually equal to 10. And the one on the right is equal to one. Now you might be thinking, how? How could that be that we write one exactly the same way, but one time it's equal to 100, another time it's equal to 10, and another time it's equal to one? Well, it's because of place value. And we have something called place value columns. These are the special places we can put numbers, and when we put numbers in those places, their values change. But there's a very easy pattern to remember how they change. The first place value, is the ones place. It's the easiest one and you're probably already familiar with it. If we put, for example, a one in the ones place, it would be equal to one one or one unit. It's equal to one thing. Today we're going to use apples. So that one would be equal to one apple. But if we write that one, a place value over to the left, it's now in the tens place. And that one is no longer equal to one. It's equal to one group of ten, which we can draw like one branch that has ten apples on it. Even though we wrote a one, we put the one in the tens place, so now it's equal to ten apples, or one branch with ten apples. But if we keep going to the left and get to the hundreds place, well, then the one is equal to one group of a hundred. And we can draw that like one tree with a hundred apples on it. So even though we still have one, 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 the one in the ones place is equal to one apple. The one in the tens place is equal to one branch with a group of ten apples on it. If we move to the hundreds place, it's equal to one tree but with a hundred apples on it. So what's really happening? Each place value is ten times greater as we move from right to left. So what does that mean? Well, when we start in the ones place and we have a one, and we multiply it by one because it's in the ones place, it's still equal to one. That's pretty easy. But if we take that one and multiply it by ten, it now moves over one place value to the left. It is now equal to 10. And if we take that 10 and multiply it by 10 again, it's equal to 100. And the one has moved over a place value to the left. And if we take the 100 and multiply it by 10, it's now equal to 1,000. And if we take the 1,000 and multiply it by 10, it's now equal to 10,000. Each time, that little one keeps moving a place value over to the left, and it becomes 10 times greater. So, what does that mean if we have a number that's not just all ones? Well, let's look at the number 9,724. And that number, we have a nine in the thousands place. That means there are nine groups of a thousand. We have a seven in the hundreds place. That means we have seven groups of a hundred. We have a two in the tens place. That means we have two groups of ten. 
and we have a 4 in the 1's place. That means we have, well, just 4 1's or units, however you want to call them. So that number is actually telling us we have different groups of numbers. You could also write it like this. 9,724 equals 9,000 plus 700 plus 20 plus 4. And that shows us that we have 9,000 in the number, we have 700 in the number, we have 20 in the number, and 4 in the number. Those are the different groups, the different parts that make that number. And when we write a number like this, like an addition problem, it's called expanded form. Expanded form is very useful for seeing how much each of those digits are worth. So if we go back to our original definition with place value, place value is a number system where the value of a digit changes depending on its position or place. And we saw that if we put a 1 in the 1's place, it's only equal to one thing. But when we move the 1 to the 10's place, it becomes one group of 10. And if we move the 1 to the 100's place, it becomes one group of 100. And if we keep going and we move that 1 to the 1000's place, it becomes one group of 1000. And if we move the 1 to the 10,000's place, it becomes one group of 10,000. And sometimes it's good to write numbers like an addition problem. And when we do that, it's called expanded form because we can see how much each one of those digits is really worth.